door, quick. <laughs> Scared of thunder? No. I like it. That's good, because there's going to be more of it. I brought you food. You'll be getting too. Did you steal it? No, I bought it. Oh. And if we get caught, don't go making up any stories that I did. I'm in enough trouble as it is. You and your kid. You want me to go back, Sam? Shut up, Annie. They looking for me? Your aunt's got every cop in Iverstown peeping through keyholes. You won't let them find me. You always come running on me. Got nobody else to run to, Sam. The circus is leaving town tonight. Their train will go right through here. When it does, you just follow me. You run with all your might, and when you grab on, grab tight. Don't you worry about me, Sam. Shh, be quiet. There they are. All right, kids. Unless you got wings, you're caught. All right, Martha, let's go. Jump. All right, miss. We'll take you on home to your aunt. Mr. O'Neill to see you, ma'am. Show him in. Mrs. Ivers will see you now. Good evening, Mrs. Ivers. Good evening. Good evening, Mrs. Ivers. I have good news. Martha... What about her? Martha has been found. I know. Well, it was Walter who was really responsible for Martha being found. He told the police where she and that boy, uh, Sam Masterson, usually go. Well, isn't that so, Walter? Yes, Father. The boy will be rewarded. Well, he's a good boy. And he's bright. If I could afford it, I'd send, send him to... him to a school like Harvard. I guess I've mentioned it before. Many times. Yes, madam? Take the boy to the kitchen, Lynch. Give him some ice cream. You may give him a piece of cake, too. Go along. You must thank Mrs. Ivers, Walter. Thank you, Mrs. Ivers. You've lost your pupil, Mr. O'Neill. I'm sending her away. I know why you offered to tutor Martha. I know why you made Walter do his daily lessons with her. I know why you want him to live here. A scholarship for Walter, that's why. But I'm not a foundation, Mr. O'Neill. I don't care whether Walter drives a truck or goes to Harvard. Probably be a lot happier driving a truck. You are expected, miss. Oh, just a minute, miss. Uh, the name's Lon Dean. You'll tell Mrs. Ivers the name of the detective who caught her is Lon Dean. I'll tell her. I'll take your furs, miss. No. You'd better, miss. You know how she feels about that cat. I'll bring it up to your room. Your aunt is waiting for you. Closer, Martha. Closer, Martha. Look at me. You don't seem very sorry. I am. 
I'm sorry I was caught. No matter what you do, I won't cry. This is the fourth time you've tried to run away. Each time you were brought back here, no matter how far you got, you were brought back here. You don't own the whole world. Enough of it to make sure that you'll always be brought back here. Do you understand that? Do you understand that? Your aunt doesn't deserve such an attitude, Martha. There are not very many women who'd be as patient and as kind. And there aren't very many little girls who'd be as ungrateful. When will you understand that I'm doing all this for you? That I'm trying to wash the dirt and grime off you, make an Ivers out of you again? My name is Smith, the same as my father's was. Your name is Ivers. I've had it changed legally. I don't care what you've done. Your name is Ivers, the same as your mother's was before she was stupid enough to marry... Shut up! Shut up! How dare you! Shut up! You've still got his foul mouth. I won't let you talk that way about my father. Your father was a nobody, a mill hand. The best thing he ever did for you was to die. Kill you, kill you, I'll kill you! Stop, stop. It's all right, Mr. O'Neill. <laughs> Go up to your room and get into some dry clothes. After you've had dinner, I want to have a talk with you. I'll go get my son. Good night. Stay. I'm upset. I want someone to talk to. Yes, Mrs. Ives. Lynch told me to sneak bundles to you. I thought you'd be hungry, so I sneaked the milk, too. She hates cats. She hates everything I like. A policeman came to my house this morning. He asked me if I had any idea of where you could have gone. My father said it was my duty to tell them. Your father. I didn't say a thing. No matter what my father told your aunt, I didn't say a thing. I'm cold. I've got to change my clothes. I'll leave the door open so I can hear you. My father says you're foolish. My father says that someday you'll have everything in the world. My father says that if we only had one little part of what you will have, I could go to Harvard. You're what? I could go to Harvard. The lights! What happened to the lights? They went out. I think they went out all over the house. There's a candle and mattress on the table near the wall. Oh, you stand still. I'll do it. Don't you think I'd better go up and see if Martha's all right? Martha will be all right anywhere. Your play. I'm afraid of the thunder and lightning. Draw the curtains. I'll go into change. Martha! Peep out of you and I'll break your nose. I won't say anything. Martha! Martha will tell you I won't say anything. What is it? Sam! You see, Walter, I told you they'd never catch him. Sam, button me up. I came to say goodbye. I thought it over, Martha. It's better for you here. I won't stay here. I hate her. 